When I say segue to the outro, this is exactly what I mean. New and updated mods have been released on the NDA Mod Hub today, and we've got 23 total. For all platforms, we have 13 new and 9 updates, and PC and Mac players have 1 new. I do make mod review videos every time they're released on the NDA Mod Hub, so get subscribed if you're new, that way you never miss any. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the versatile Delta Track Pack from Julian F. Modding. We actually have a few mods from him today. This is the tracked version-ish of these right here. So we've got the wheeled version, and now We've got tracks as well. We've got three tractors total, the 2012 through 2016, 2017 through 2021, and the new 2022 model. Oh yeah. As far as slot counts for console players go, the red one is going to be 18 slots. The middle tractor is going to be 20 and 20 slots for the 2022 version as well. Let's start up with customization. Of course, we've got designs for US as well as Australia, so you can go back and forth between those. Cabin configurations, we've got a regular one, we've got carpet inside, or you can do the Seedhawk Icon Terminal, and you can also do a couple other things as well. We also have footrests on there, so that's nice to see. And all of the above, go, go, go. Say Borgo. It does say Borgo. Attachable parts, we have standard 1800 kilogram front weight. We've got a PTO added to the back. Both of them, or nothing, three-point, yes or no, so you can add the three-point on the back. Auto steer system, yes or no. Now, that's not going to do anything, but it does add a uh, terminal inside. That's nice. Engine setups include 470, 521, 574 horsepower, and that is it. As far as this model, power shift transmission, 1,298 liters of fuel, 24 miles an hour. It's 20 tons. Let's move over to the center version. This is the 2017 through 2021. We, of course, have USA and Australia. Cabin configurations, those are all exactly the same. Attachable parts, the 1800, uh, the PTO, and nothing. Three-point, of course. Auto steer engines are 573, 628, and 655. And then your license plate. Everything else is exactly the same. And lastly, for the Delta Track 2022 version, brand new, baby. You want this one. Cabin configurations, of course, we have all of the ones from the previous. The 1800 kilogram front weight, the PTO, or both, three-point hitch, auto steer system, and engines are 583, 638, 665. There you go. That is your versatile Delta Track Pack. Next up for all platforms, also from Julian F. Monning, we've got his International 86 Series. It is finally here for all platforms. This is going to have 95 horsepower to start with. It's got an uh, International Torque Amplifier, aka manual transmission. We've also got 140 liters of fuel, 21 mile per hour max speed at 7.1 tons. Console players will find that this is 12 slots. As far as wheel brands, we've got two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive a michelin and that is what you've got so you go back and forth choose those we're going to take a look at the two-wheel drive version today wheels include single row crop wide row crop and dual row crop do like those duals we also have wide tires and back in as well we've got the exact same options as well you've also got a plowing setup which takes uh this down right here as well but it's only available on the uh two-wheel drive or the four-wheel drive i believe yeah only on the four-wheel drive as far as interior designs, we have standard black, you got the red edition, western premium, and back down. Exhaust, we have a standard, curved, short pipe, and back into standard. Tatchers, we have a 400 kilogram weight in the front, 600, the quickie console, or nothing. So you can put a front loader on here. Engines include 95 horsepower, 117, 146, 162, 179. So all the way up to that. Main color, this is gonna be just a little part on the front. You can take that between tan and red. And that's it. That's all your customization, but you don't need a whole lot because you know you're going to be loving this thing, the International 86 Series. Next up, we have another pack. This is the Klaus Jaguar 96990 TT pack from T.O. Gavido. Yep, there you go. Uh, th this may seem a little bit interesting. DJ, don't we already have most, if not all, of these parts? Yeah, we do. But these are really heavily modified. For example, the Klaus Jaguar right here only had three or four different options, and well, these pieces had no options. Now, we've got a bunch. So let's start with the Harvester itself. This is going to have 653 horsepower, variable transmission, 1,350 liters of fuel, 24 mile per hour max speed. It has a 20 liter capacity. I believe that's for your silage additive. It weighs 17.9 tons. As far as slot count, it's going to be 22. It is up there. As far as wheel brands go, we have Rice Stout, we have Michelin, and back forth between those. You can go with a standard and wide tire, and that will make the tracks wide as well. However, your Michelins are 
mega wide. Love those. Tail lights, so we've got a standard. We've got a V-shaped tail light. Now, I'm having a hard time finding... Oh, those are your strobe lights inside. You've also got duals around the side or nada. Front flashers, you've got those turned off. However, you could turn those on and you could put those there. Now, wheel, or windows, rather. We have a default and we have a dark window tint. I know some of you guys like that. That's perfect for it. Type label, we have a default. We have the 40 version or the 40,000 version. <laughs> Look at that side right there. That looks pretty good. Engine setup, so we have the 653 925. So get that 925 horsepower engine for an extra 86 grand. Pipe, standard, and a long pipe. That's nice. See, main color. This is where it gets interesting because now we can change up the color. Look at that. That is epic, baby. Yeah. Chrome, sure thing. You want it pink? You got it any color you want pretty much i love how they've got modified versions of all of the cloth colors that is cool that is really cool secondary color right here let's go with a <laughs> yes sir yeah that's what i want and then we have an interior one as well let's go with <laughs> chromed out red yeet and then rims let's see let's just do chrome now that's hot right there. <laughs> We've also got the pickup right here. Now, this is just your standard pickup. This is going to be a total of five slots on consoles, but we could still change up those colors, which is really, really interesting. I love that. Uh, same thing right here with the Direct Disc 500. This is your mower. Uh, you could do a design. You can put this on here if you're doing like canola or something like that. This total is going to be four slots for you guys. We could change up that side cover on there. We could change up the top cover and we could change up the interior parting of it as well. Again, very, very epic. We've got two corn harvesters on here. The first one's the 750. It's going to be eight slots, so it is a little bit higher. Unless we have a seven and a half meter working with main colors. Well, change that up. We'll change that to chrome and then we'll do a... Uh, eh, how about we do bright green on there? Yeah, side covers, we'll do red. And then rim colors, we'll go with a green edge. Yes, but different. We also have the 900 as well. This is going to be a 9 meter header. We've got seven slots on this one. Again, same colors. We've got one for the main color, the side cover design and rims. And then lastly, we've got a header trailer for those. Uh, this is going to be, again, color changeable all around. Very, very cool thing. Trailer is three slots. And there you go. Your Clash Jaguar 960 990 TT pack. This is going to be popular. As I mentioned, when I say segue to the outro in the news vids, this is what I'm referring to. It's a segue. Uh, it's an electric die cycle is what it is. This is from Eric Isaac and Agro Mods. We knew about this ahead of time, but it's been a couple weeks since we talked about it. It's going to cost you five grand. It's got 30 horsepower, 30 kilowatt per hour battery, and 24 mile per hour max speed. It's going to be two slots on consoles, and we have two different wheel setups. But that's it. Not a whole lot to choose from there, unfortunately. Uh, if we jump in it right here, you can, of course, turn it on and... Well, that's pretty much it. It does drive just fine. Uh, you could do some little, yeah, yeah, little donuts in here. It's actually extremely easy to control, which is very nice. Uh, we've got some a little pile of TMR right here. Let's see what happens if we try to climb it. Yeah. Zero issues whatsoever. Also from Eric Isaac and Agrimods, we have the Lizard Old Bike. This is an amazing old bike from the map scenarios and is now available for you to use on your farm. Guaranteed fun, lots of laughs with your friends. Heck of a description, uh, maybe a little bit much. Uh, this is a one horsepower engine. So I guess one person is equal to one horse. Uh, thir 30 liters of fuel, because why not? And 18 miles per hour. That is actually pretty quick for a bike. Uh, it's going to be four slots on consoles, which is a little bit high, I think, but it is what it is. We've got a little spot on the back where you can add and put stuff. Yep, whatever you want to do there. Uh, main color. Here's going to be your main color palette. Let's just go with a bright lime green. And then your design color. Let's go with something we could see. Pink right there there you go uh i can jump out and we'll jump in this real quick you do have to start it and then you just ride it yep uh this is really easy to control the animation's done well i mean it seems fun yeah it's a little bit much right there but that's okay we'll go for the tmr pile here no issues whatsoever jk uh it's also all-wheel drive 
So that's fun. Next up, we have the Flegel Duo. We got some equipment for all platforms today. This is going to hook up to your trailer via three point and it will distribute the silage around in your silos. Kind of makes it a little bit easier. Uh, the official term for it is a silage compactor, but uh, makes things a little bit easier for you guys. Makes it nice and even. It's got a three meter working width, three miles per hour, and it is three slots. Three all the way around. Uh, designs, we've got a couple different ones here for you guys. Safety bar, yes or nope. Those do look pretty nice. And then you can change up that main color if you wish. Next up, Crampy Bandit 800. Now we've got a couple of Crampy Bandits already with 750. Now we have the 800. We actually have two 750s, a 950 and the 301070, but that one is from Giant Software themselves. This is a bulk trailer, so hold anything. 28,400 liters of it, at least to start with. It weighs 11.3 tons, so it is no slouch. You're going to need a good tractor to pull this with, and it is 13 slots for a trailer configurations we've got the 28.4 we also have the 38,000 liter version you could put sides on the 38,000 liter version going up to 42,850 with sides and back down to a 29,000 but it's a kind of a pentagon octagon kind of shape top very neat there and then back to standard again will brands include bkt vridestein michelin tires of course you could change those up designs we have an underride guard or nada main colors include red orange green and black and for your rim colors we have a normal gray we have white and chrome no black on here so Heads up there would be nice to see one though. Here's a fun one for you. The GL860 Multiplanter. This right here is from Tethy Saturn. Uh, I'm not sure if they've actually released anything or not, but I will tell you, this is cool. So they say plants sugarcane, poplars, and potatoes, uh, and you can uh, do that with them. Uh, do this machine, process the seeds, potatoes, or sugarcane. So you can put anything of those in here that you wish. That is also very, very nice. It requires 170 horsepower, holds 16,000 liters of any of those products, which is very nice. 6.8 tons, whew, almost. Uh, six meter spread at seven miles per hour. It doesn't say anything about being a direct drill, so just a heads up there in advance. It is 15 slots, so it is no slouch when it comes to slot counts, and we have custom colors all the way around. But the back rollers are always red. Would have been nice to see those being changed. But nonetheless, uh, here you go. If you guys were wanting to plant uh, poplars or sugar cane, well, you can do that. Next is the Lizard SV3. This is a manure spreader for your grapes and olives. That's kind of cool. So this is going to hold 3.5 thousand liters of manure only. Weighs 860 kilograms, 3.6 meter spread, which is perfect at nine miles per hour. Nothing too crazy through there. Now uh, it is seven slots. So that's a little bit high, especially for zero customization, but I guess it is what it is. It does have a nice animation to it. Again, with no customization, there's Really nothing to show off here. How's about some placeables? We got four of them for you guys. The first one is seed production. This bad boy right here takes uh, well, stuff and makes some seeds. So let's take a look. So we can take wheat or barley and basically we turn it one to one into seeds. This is as simple as it gets. And I really, really like that they've done it like this. Uh, it'll only hold 5,000 liters of each. And so 5,000 liters wheat, 5,000 liters of barley, and it'll only output 5,000 liters total, or at least hold at a time. Uh, you do have cycles per month, 240. So 240 times 250, that's how many liters you'll get per day if you're using one day season. So heads up there. Pricing's pretty accountable, 25 grand, that's doable. And uh, cost per hour is 50 bucks, it's not too bad. Oh, and it's three slots. Yeah, I'm going to try and do slot counts for placeables now. My bad. How about some Xiaoman animal food? Yeah, so we have a new brand in the game, I think. I'm not familiar with this brand, but it is nice to see. Xiaoman animal foods from Z84. Good to see them doing some mods. Pig food, oats, wheat, and mineral feed. As far as slot counts for these platforms, they're going to be three each, or, or pallets rather. Uh, and then they all hold 1,050 liters. Next is the workshop pack. This is your next to last new mod for all platforms today uh in this pack we have three workshops three placeable workshops and i believe we've got at least two of these already as separate mods i believe we have this one already and i know we've got this one because it was the first workshop mod to be released onto mod hub nonetheless we'll take a look at these first one is this the workshop with ramp this is only going to cost you 10 grand which ain't too bad uh but what is pretty rough is the slot count 45 slots for this uh really it's just a workshop at the end of the day so if you want the function but not the visuals well uh, maybe move on but if you want 
the visual. <laughs> I mean, they've done a pretty good job with it. Okay, say nothing about it. Next is going to be the workshop service. Now, this is a little bit smaller. It is 27 slots on console, so it is a little bit smaller there as well. And then we've got a itty bit little thing right here. Just not too much. Got a little place for you to sit down and wait for everything to be done. 14 slots on the small workshop. And your last new one for all platforms today, Farmhouse. That's farmhouse. It's a normal farmhouse, uh, old farmhouse option for sleepy tired employees etc etc uh this is gonna cost you 25 grand it is 22 slots and no you can't go in so unfortunately there it is but if you're looking for one that looks like this well it is here also it looks very similar to another house that we've got but i'm not sure if that's a thing or not nonetheless it's gonna be uh, i think i said 22 slots you do have a place where you can change your clothing and you got a place where you can get your sleepy time on making our way into mod updates for all platforms first one's gonna be the sepium s9 base this is gonna be change log 1.1 mod description version's been increased sound has been changed and small fixes next up the herlumen h488 this is not toothpaste tractor as far as i remember this is change log version 1.1 wipers now work and fix the animation of switching process and an update to the avant series this is change log 1203 added the big bag transport added the option for traffic light added the option for the beacon lights change the sound to the original fs19 avant motor sound and fix the display lights now off when the motor's not running here's an interesting one this is the kalbacher winter equipment version 1103 get this Centrac equipment they've added the kfs uh, 1050 and the sts 300 Centrac dock Huh. Let's poke our head in here real quick. Uh, you know what's really interesting about this? We don't have the sin track at all. But I think it's coming soon! Yeah! Some more mod updates for all platforms. Today is the more honey palette place options. You definitely need this, by the way. Go download this and then listen to the update. Version 1.1 fixed an error log after 1.4 and added an option for 16 or 32 pallets. What? What? Yes! How's about the Shed Solar Panels Package? Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Uh, small sheds have been added. Small fixes, minor fixes rather, and metal shelters have been added as well. These are just variants of what we already had. And an update to the large water tank version 1-1. One, one. Approve the store image and mod icons. Reduce the cost to fill the tankers. Increase the overall object price to compensate for the reduction in fill price. And improved the object placement. Uh, here's a heads up. Uh, water is free pretty much everywhere. So there you go. We also have an update to the Rapid 8400W version 101. Fix the problem with changing design colors. And an update, a big update to the first Goldcrest Valley 22 that we got. Heads up, this is the one that's more of like a, a take on the map rather than the original that we got last week. This is version 1001. Added collectibles, added the pig farm, sheep, far sheep farm fence is now sellable. Remove the non-sellable shed at the sheep barn. Farm barn is now sellable. The farm ground borders are now part of the farmhouse, so they can be sold. Added the missing platform at the train wood loading station. Remove the pile of wood and parked cars. Added the missing concrete floor at the gas station. Reduced the price of the BGA and added a bunker silo. Fixed the terrain de deformation on the road at the dairy. Fixed and repainted the ground at the barn at the main farm and replaced the texture of concrete. A new save game is required. Again, this map is more of a take on Goldcrest Valley, whereas the other one is more of a one-to-one, -one, even with the original sheds as well, which I thought was like really nice touch. And your last mod today is gonna be a new one for PC and Mac players. This one's kind of neat because it's the low loader with 16 wheels. We got uh, 16 wheels on there, huh? A lot of weight on the back. This bad boy right here is going to weigh 12.4 tons. We've got a couple different ramp configurations. However, here's the fun part. If you don't choose a ramp, there are other ones that you get to choose from and hook up to that you could buy from the shop, which is actually really, really cool. But uh, my advice would be just to choose them in the store. But you can do it another way if you want to. Uh, as far as mud flap configurations, we've got type 1, type 2. Oh, they are way down there. Can't even see them. That stinks. Uh, no plate. We have a license plate or no plate. Chassis color. You can change this up. We'll go with a bright orange so you can see exactly what's going on here. Then we have the ramp color. Let's see. We'll go pink just to see okay so that's the inside of it and the rim colors of course are rim color we've got a uh, base game gray and chrome and we've got all the base game colors so that's pretty much perfect that is the ideal wheel color 
palette right there. Just like this is the ideal way to end the mod videos. Not on the Segway, it's on a bicycle. Hope you enjoyed today's mod video and I hope it helped you out. If it did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Do mods, news, let's plays, and first looks and all kinds of stuff. And uh, live streams coming back soon. Looking forward to seeing you guys. All right, that's it. I hope you all have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye.